So there was a Christmas deal on meganknife.com for a box of 24 mystery knives. And I got this box and I said I would open it on camera. Um, so I'm gonna try to open it with my dagger because honestly, I don't actually have a knife on hand. I appreciate the irony of that. It's very well taped. So really the first part of this box, the, this unboxing video is me jabbing aimlessly in a box with a dagger. Um, and then ripping at it. Okay, let's see. Let's play a fun game called 24 Mystery Knives, which I personally sort of picture like a Decemberist song. Um, 24 Mystery Knives. This dagger is really meant for cutting throats, not so much tape. It's also not very sharp, let's be real. Okay, here we are. Let's check them out. Here's one knife. It, this isn't a knife. These are pretty sharp um, throwing, throwing daggers, I think. All right. Not sure if that counts as three knives or one. Um, and there's this pretty cool knife. Comes with a sheath, which I always enjoy. And then it's wrapped in plastic and it's green, sharp, and uh, really fits the hand pretty nicely. So excellent knife, either four or two, depending on how we're counting. Here's another kind of short, blunt feller, less nice sheet, kind of a buoy knife vibe, but mini. Uh, does it fold? Kind of looks like it should fold, doesn't fold. That's knife. Um, either three or five. This is so many knives. This one says medieval toothpick on it. Um, it it's, a, it's a small knife. I guess in the Middle Ages, people used these as toothpicks, according to meganknife.com. Again, it has a sheath. Guess I'm supposed to hang this from my belt. <laughs> All right, onward. I really am kind of bummed there wasn't a sword in this, because um, Mega Knife sells swords. I guess I took 24 mystery knives, not literally enough, because I hoped there would be a sword in all of this. I don't really co collect knives, but I guess I do now that I have 24 of them. It's a fucking nice knife. That's almost entering sword or at least dagger territory. Strong. I like it. I like that these are all sheathed. Thanks, meganknife.com. I feel like my room is gonna be substantially more threatening now. There's still so many knives to go. This one's called a patch knife. I don't even, I can't really upload this to Twitter. I guess I'll have to upload it to YouTube and then upload it to Twitter. I'm really sorry. I've never done an unboxing video before. And in fact, one of the first videos I ever did was that like Trump fraud call. And that was only two minutes long, specifically for Twitter. I'm not a video content creator in any fashion. This is a very cool sheet with like, beads coming off of it, but the knife, again, sort of short, blunt, well, not blunt, 
broad. It's got kind of a, these are all very sharp. I guess it's a carving knife. I could imagine myself using this to cut garlic in very dramatic fashion. Look how big this sheath is compared to how small the knife is. <sighs> you know, hot dog in a hallway style. My bed is just absolutely covered in knife casings and we're not even close to done. Ooh, okay, this is the Razor Tactical Survival Knife Series. It's a folder. It's fucking nice. This looks deadly as hell. And it has the staff of uh, Hermes, like the medical symbol on it. I guess this is a medical dagger. You know, strong, sharp, well-designed, and, uh, and it folds, which again, nice, because if you're not gonna have a sheath, it's fairly impractical to have just like sharp blades hanging around. <laughs> Uh, she says, at opening another knife. Um, oh. Well, you know, it's a good thing I have all these knives to open packaging with. <laughs> um, okay, here's... Ooh, look at this guy. He's all black got kind of a grippy, rubbery handle, and let's check how sharp it is. Sharp. I, I'm getting a lot of pleasure out of stabbing this box. Um, sorry if that's disconcerting to anyone out there. Um, again, sheathed. So I think we're getting more hits than misses here. We're, we're I'm just going to pull out the rest of the knife boxes from the big knife box. Is that how unboxing videos work? I guess I'm still unboxing because they're all boxed. But let's check how many more knives we have here. Oh my god, my, my, my hideous bed is just covered in, covered in knife boxes at this point time. So let's open another knife. I've completely lost count at this point. This is sort of an intriguing sheathed square knife. How does one open this guy? See how well it cuts that famous knife test. How well does it cut cardboard? Not that well. This one, which has no name, is a knife of shame. And it's got a weird sheath, so I'm not I'm not that impressed, frankly. But thank you all for donating to this project. Uh, where I opened 24 knives. <laughs> this is so far my favorite for cutting tape. This one. I just am gonna start stabbing the boxes. Ripping them open. I'm gonna leave this one out because I'm enjoying it. I think that's the medieval toothpick. Ooh, this one's pretty. It has a wood handle with a cross on it, so not my scene necessarily. Uh, got a little cover on the dagger. Um, let's check this one out. Pretty, uh, pretty good. I like the sheath, I like the style. Um, I might get a piece of tape to cover up that cross because I am a J-O-O, -O, a well-armed Jew also. 
So stay away, pogrom doers. I will fuck you up with my 24 mystery knives. Um, I really didn't quite realize how many knives 24 was. Uh, math isn't my strong suit. Okay, this one has kind of a rope handle, which is neat, and it comes with this thing. I'm not sure what that is or what it's for. Maybe, like, I don't know where you insert it. I don't know what. Oh, is it like meant to start fires with? I don't know, it's a mystery to me, but I'll keep it in the sheath. This one's called the Bone Edge. I like that rope handle, small handle, little hard to grip. Let's check out how it stabs. Reasonably. I feel like I need, I should have brought like a fruit or something to really illustrate stabbing well. I can't, I can't overemphasize how completely unplanned everything about this video was. Um, I should have done this in ASMR style and just whisper to you about knives. This seems to be another of the same knife but slightly bigger and with a striped blade. Pretty efficient at the, the old stab, stab and drag. Just picturing the guts of my enemies, many and various, as I do this, as I slowly accumulate a pile of knives and a much larger pile of knife boxes. All right, we're nearing the end, the home stretch. Here's another kind of short triangular little mofo. It's wrapped in rope in a way that seems to make it slightly hard to open, but I will prevail because I have many other knives. This is kind of a sexy one. It's, it's also black, uh, also got a rope handle. And uh, pretty good, pretty good blade. Sharp tip. Um, and now we're down to our final, final nine, <laughs> final nine knives. Twenty-four knives is so many knives. I just got really enchanted by their offer of twenty-four mystery knives. And I've been waiting for this day. Ooh, look at this one. This one feels very phallic to me. Something about the grip, the kind of chub-shaped blade, serrated, very nice. Let's see. Strong, uh, strong stab. This is the video of an insane person, I realize. I guess this kind of loop in the, ha in the handle is for, what, I don't know, looking through? Maybe some, everyone who knows more about knives, hit me up in the comments. That's everyone, I collect swords, I don't know much about knives. This is really a new, new collection for me. <laughs> But I started it from scratch. I'm really glad I didn't get the larger, like, 40 knife box. Ooh, this one's curvy. Again, just undeniable phallic energy here. It's like a claw. Fight claw. Not even, I guess you hold it like this and you... <laughs> Ooh. 
That's extremely fun. That. That is awesomely fun. Uh, big, big ups on this claw knife. I've been wanting a scimitar for a while, and this is a mini scimitar to me. Um, yeah, okay, let's, let's check out, um, this one says that it may contain substances known to the state of California to cause cancer and or reproductive toxicity. But I'm not in California, so <laughs> I think this is another claw jabby, but it seems to have more finger holes. Ow! Oh, jeez. I knew I was going to get cut at some point during this video. Uh, I'm okay. I'm bleeding a little. Moving on. Yeah, so again, you put your pinky thumb. God, I'm getting it roasted so hard for not knowing how to, how to hold a claw. How do you... I guess I'll just hold it. That's less fun. Uh, I rate this less fun than the other claw and also repro potentially reproductively toxic. So this is my least favorite knife so far. It did efficiently cut me and I am bleeding. So we know it's sharp. So that's good, I guess. <laughs> it is, this one is rainbow and purple and I guess it's a Swiss army style knife. I have no fucking idea how to open this, but I love it color wise. Ah. Imagine being stabbed to death by this knife. That's the most lesbian death I could imagine. And I crave it. Let's see. I just don't know if like I'm holding it right such that it's really stable. Cause you, you don't want, there's like a serrated side and a smooth side. And I don't know. Reasonable stab. Love the color. Um, I will have to investigate its mechanics further. Possibly through a fruit-based stabbing medium. I also don't know how to close it again. Um, learning as on the go. Is it this thing on the bottom? No, that's like a tactical flashlight style spike. Um, I have no fucking idea how to close this. I'm going to discover that off camera because a couple more knives to open and I'm sure you want to get on with your life. You probably, if you've stayed this long, you're just suffering from morbid curiosity, you sick bastard. And, uh, using my medieval toothpick to cut the tape. Very satisfying feeling. And um, here we have just a little guy. It's the Joker knife. I have been Joker-fied by this year. You can see it's kind of uh, transparent on the blade. Let's try the stab test. Decent stab, decent drag. It's from TAC Force. Again, I don't know how to close knives. This is really embarrassing to be discovering for the first time on camera. I don't know how to close. How do you close? Just put that aside for now and fiddle with it. Uh, at a different time. I prefer the sheath to, uh, oh no, this is another knife that you have to open and then close. Like kind of a faux wood or faux wood handle. But how do I open you, my pretty? 
here. Show me your mysteries. Where's the blade? Oh God. Ugh. I feel really stressed because, oh, okay. It was just, whoa. <laughs> it's like a switchblade, like a, like a grease style. Like I feel, I'm gonna join the jets. If someone's gonna sing a song about me killing someone. Then how do you close it? How do you, how do you close it? Like that was a cool flip and a really good step, like worryingly good, sh sharp, worryingly sharp. Don't know how to close it. I'm gonna put this in my little pile of knives. I don't know how to close. That's three so far. And uh, going in, this one is also toxic in California. Why are these knives so toxic to my reproductive capacity? Is it just because no one will come close to me because I'm bristling with knives and therefore I won't be able to reproduce? Um, what the fuck? Is this sort of camo? It's very weird. That's another claw. Claw. Claw knife. You know, that's fun, but none of them have the magic of the first claw for me. Three left, my brothers and sisters of the knife. I'm bleeding extensively as I, not really extensively, I, I have basically a paper cut from trying to open one of those before. Um, number one tip in knife safety is don't cut yourself opening a knife. Oh my God. This is another claw! It's another claw! It's another claw knife. It's green. It's all green. <laughs> I like that one though. It's, it's another claw. Honestly, that still feels good. That still feels fucking good. Like amazing. Ow, I just cut myself again. Like quite deeply. Okay, moving on. Got uh, two more left, so we'll just ignore the uh, the blood. Uh, and I'll I'll clean myself up after the things I do for content. This this one's this one's I don't even know how to describe it. It's got kind of a George O'Keefe vibe on the sheath, and uh, I and ooh. Okay, this is, I guess it's technically a knife. It's not sharp in any way. It's a butterfly knife. I, I don't know this one, how does it cut though? I'm just dripping blood, by the way. Uh, this one is a mystery. I'm gonna close it. At least this one I can close. So that's a pro. Um, maybe it's to cut butterflies up because they don't need a very sharp blade to be destroyed. And finally, the last knife of them all. I have just so much blood. Um, it's, it's this very tiny, very tiny knife from stainless steel. So small, but it's sharp. Still cut all the fuck up. And that's that. That's that on that. That's the 24 mystery knives. Um, just surrounded by blood and knife packaging. And I love you. Happy Hanukkah and Christmas to me and you. I'm gonna go bandage myself. Good night. <laughs>